Whitefish head football coach Chad Ross is stepping down after 12 seasons and he's leaving behind an incredible legacy, bringing the school their first state title since 1979. But right now it's not wins and losses he's thinking about, it's relationships. Sure, as far as wins and losses, that's one of my greatest greatest events that I've been a part of, but it's since my, you know, my announcement of, of getting out, the, the, the amount of love and support that I've gotten from, from players and parents and community members, you know, over the past 24, because I was 12 years as an assistant, has just been incredible. So while people look at the wins and losses when they discuss the Ross era, that's not how the coach will define his time. People outside of coaching don't understand how, how much time we spend with them. So it's truly an honor just to watch them grow and mature. I mean, there's so much more to life than, than just the, the record books. I've learned really how to mentor young men, and that, that's been exciting. The payoff? Not the development of players, but the development of men long after their playing careers are over. The conversations I get when people are getting married and, hey, coach, I had a baby and I want you to see. I mean, that's those are the lasting things that, that will be there. And, and that it's humbling. It's humbling to know that people still want you to be part of their life. And as for what his players will remember most about him, football is rarely mentioned, which is the greatest compliment a coach can receive. At the state championship, I mean, stuff like that. I think that his wins definitely set, I don't know, a high bar for him. But at the same time, I think it's just everyone loves him. Everyone loves him as a coach, and I think that everyone appreciates that. Reporting in Whitefish, Alexa Belcastro, MTN Sports.